Hey, what's up, guys? I got paid to make this video. Uh, wow, hmm. Maybe that wasn't the best way to start this one off, but I gotta say it. Anyway, I was asked to review Naruto Online by Oasis Games. Now, I know what you're thinking. Naruto is lame, right? It's okay though, because everyone who sucked that was in the fandom left and went to Hitalia a long time ago. So it's cool to like Naruto now. You're safe. Plus, I think we can all admit that Heroes Come Back is lit af, so stop kidding yourself. Right, so, Naruto Online. I'll be honest, I was a little skeptical at first. I mean, it's a free-to-play, browser-based MMO. How good can it really be? Well, the answer is, it's actually pretty fun. No way! Believe it! <laughs> For your character, you get to pick from some OC-looking ninjas that were apparently designed by Kishi himself, and it definitely shows. I mean, yo, look at this dude. Look at this dude and tell me that's not Kakashi. Yo, that's just straight up Kakashi, right? Like, that's him. That It's just that, that guy. Yo, you think that guy doesn't have ninja dogs? Get out of here! They all have different abilities and playstyles, which is neat. I went with Midnight Blue. <laughs> sorry, sorry. They all have different abilities and playstyles. I went with Midnight Blue. <laughs> Midnight Blue. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't say it with a straight face. It's like something I would have named a character in middle school. Midnight Blade. Well, I'm not a hardcore Naruto fan by any means, but I actually enjoyed the combat quite a bit. You set up a team of ninjas to go on missions, and it's pretty fun. Certain abilities can, like, combo off each other. For instance, if Naruto does a float move or hits him up in the air, Sasuke comes in with, like, a target combo kind of thing, and then Sakura finishes him off with a trap. The first time I saw that, I was like, whoa! I did, I really, really said that out loud, I'm serious. Now, it is a little bit pain to win, and there's a whole mess of stuff to click on, and I don't know what any of it does, like, I don't know what that is, I don't know what this does, or this thing, or this, or this. You can upgrade gear, there's like a hundred things you can equip, I don't know what any of it is. And it's all kind of confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, and you figure out what to click on, click on this every day. Not so bad, although they do keep asking me to buy stuff, and I'm like, yo, unless giving you guys money will get Tsunade to show up at my house and mash her kunoichis in my face, I ain't buying it. Fabulous at 50, am I right, fellas? Combat and story's pretty cool. It's honestly just a retelling of Naruto's main plot, with your character sort of tacked on. The part where a grown-ass man walks into a classroom full of teenagers and just kicks the crap out of all of them felt a little off, if satisfying. Also, why does Naruto's sexy jutsu affect the wolf-type enemies? That just raises even more questions. Anyway, furries aside, this game isn't half bad. If you want something that's simple, doesn't need a cutting-edge PC to run, and you're a casual or hardcore fan of the series, check it out. So don't walk, Naruto run over to the URL in the description to check it out. Ugh. Dot to bio, dudes.